Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is the Maxima Murph Detective Agency. Intruder alert! Max and Murphy lived together with their big brother Finnegan and five annoying cats. They loved living at Mom's house, especially the mornings when they could slide into food comas in Mom's lap after breakfast. When they first woke up, Either Mom or Auntie Lori would open the back door, and all three dogs would shoot out of the door like rockets. They'd do their business, and everyone would race to the back door ready for breakfast. Everyone except Max. Max had the strongest sniffer of the Maxima Murph Detective Agency. Murphy might be able to get into smaller places, but Max's sniffer was legendary. Everything went normally that day. Auntie Lori was holding the back door open when Mom opened her bedroom door and the rush was on. Within a few minutes, Finnegan and Murphy were ready to go in, but Max was doing some extra strong sniffing. Max, it's time for breakfast, said Murphy. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> There's something unusual here, Max said, not taking his nose off the ground. Mom came to the back door and let the dogs in and called, Max, breakfast! which usually brought him running to the door, but not this morning. Finnegan and Murphy rushed in to eat their breakfasts, because that's what they did every day, in nothing flat. Mom asked, Finny, what's going on with Max? Finnegan looked at her with a mouthful of food and shrugged his shoulders. That's what I thought, Mom said. The boys were back in the backyard in nothing flat. You missed breakfast, Murphy said to Max. Without lifting his nose, Max said, I can always have it later. I'm telling you, there's something here. Max sniffed the backyard's back half while the others ate breakfast. Finnegan said, what does it smell like? I'm not sure, said Max. It's a different smell. Someone new has been here. Finnegan and Murphy lent their noses to the case. Finnegan soon tired of the game. He was a boxer, not a dachshund, so sniffing wasn't his thing. I'm going in, he said, heading toward the door. Max and Murphy had been in the backyard for an hour, still sniffing, when Mom came out and said, Inside, boys. It's too hot out here. Murphy ran right into the house. Mom was right. It was too hot for little wiener dogs. Max kept on like he didn't hear Mom. Max, yelled Mom. No response. Mom walked into the yard and stood next to Max. Max, she yelled. Only then did Max look up. Come on, big boy, let's go inside. Max reluctantly gave up his sniffing and went in. Only then did he realize how hungry he was. Later, as the boys were sleeping in her lap, Mom looked out the window and saw what Max had been sniffing for. It was Mr. Mouse. Mom chuckled to herself. That's one smart mouse, she said to herself. The boys never moved. Another Maxima Murph Detective Agency case solved. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this story. The illustrations are in a link in the description box. Thank you.